Hi guys and welcome back to another episode of the data series. In this episode we look to implement various methods in which we can derive feature importance in Python. We start by importing some general libraries, so pandas, so that we can import our data and also produce data frames. We also import warnings to ignore any warnings that might pop up and seaborn for some plots. So we can go ahead and run this here. The first section is just a bit of data exploration. So we start by importing our data and checking the shape. And as with my previous episodes, you can check a link in the description for where you can find all the data and code used in this episode. So we can run this cell here, which stores our data frame stored as a CSV file under the variable name df. And we also check the shape of our data frame. So we have 3,276 rows and 10 columns. We next check the first few rows of our data by making use of the head function. And we see here many variables. So for this episode, we're looking to see which of our features is most important in predicting portability. That is whether water is drinkable or not. We can check the data types of our variables. So these are all floats and we have one integer. So this is fine. You also check for missing values. So we see here that sulfate contains quite a lot of missing values. In this episode, we just look to remove uh, missing values. And lastly, we can check the distribution of our target variable. So for that, we use the Seaborn library and we make use of the count plot function. And we see here that there is a little bit of unbalance in our target variable, but using a metric such as accuracy should hopefully be fine. We then move on to pre-processing our data. We start by removing rows with NA. Next, we split our data into our input variables and our target variable. Next, we standardize our data to have a mean of zero and a standard deviation of one. And we make use of the standard scalar from the scikit-learn library. We apply the scalar to our input variables. And lastly, we produce a data frame just to contain our input variables that each have been put on a normal distribution. Lastly, we split our data into a training and a test set. And we stratify according to our target variable, ensuring that we have the same ratio of ones and zeros as our training set and test set. We're using a test size of only 10% and therefore a training size of 90%. You can run this cell here. We start by calculating the absolute value of coefficients from a logistic regression model to calculate feature importance. We initialize a logistic regression model and fit it to our training data. We obtain the coefficients and lastly, put the absolute values of our coefficients in a data frame and we sort it by importance. So we have the largest coefficient at the top and lowest at the bottom. You can run this here. And we see for logistic regression, solids is the most important feature in predicting portability and organic carbon the least. Next, we look at the decrease in Gini impurity for gradient boosted trees. We start by initializing a gradient boosted tree classifier and fitting it to our training data. We then calculate the feature importance, which is given as the total decrease in Gini impurity for each feature. The feature importance scores are then normalized such that they all add up to one, enabling an easy comparison of feature importance for each of our features. Lastly, we present the feature importances in a data frame and again, sort by importance. You can run this here. And we see that for gradient boosted trees, decrease in Gini impurity, pH is the most important feature and stability is the least. 
Next, we look at feature permutation. We make use of permutation importance from the scikit-learn library. We start by initializing and fitting a neural network to our training data. We then apply our function and feed our neural network and our test data. We also set the number of repeats to five. This means that we shuffle each feature five times. Then we can calculate the mean decrease in accuracy. For example, we present the feature importances in a data frame and lastly display the data frame. Run this here. And we see that for feature permutation, sulfate is the most important feature and turbidity is the least in predicting portability. Lastly, we look at SHAP, which is a game theoretic approach of calculating feature importance. We can run this cell here, which might take some time. And we see here the mean absolute value of our SHAP values for each of our features. And we see here that pH is the most important feature and turbidity is the least. In conclusion, three of our methods, namely SHAP, feature permutation, and gradient boosted trees decrease in genie impurity. pH and sulfate consistently rank as an important feature for predicting portability and turbidity the least important feature for predicting portability. Logistic regression results, however, show that pH and sulfate are not important predictors of portability and the results are quite different. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you learned something new.